Tayani back at it again with another Sims video. So recently I've been looking around on YouTube and I saw the Sim for 24 hour challenge. So I was like, okay, that seems awesome. Let me go ahead and try that. Okay, we can't do any of these videos with the baby. My daughter's five months, so she doesn't really do anything. Um, she's not really walking or anything yet. So I decided, why not? Let's give it a try. I feel like it'll be interesting. So I did everything I was supposed to do. I go to create a sim and I create my sim. Well, it was more so like a random black sim. <laughs> I create my sim and I created a toddler. At first I was going to do a baby and um, figured it would be cool. But you know, my daughter is able to do more things. So I figured that, you know, when the toddler's going around and playing, you know, I could play with some toys with her. Just make it fun. It'll be different, but it'll be unique. No. So I make my sims and I build this house that's a really janky replica of the home that I live in. Okay, so <laughs> it starts off normal. I think I started at 8 o'clock in the morning. 8.40. I wrote all the times down, so let me get that up. So at 8.40, I started and it was middle of the day because I just created these sims. So I gave them a bit of time to get situated. I gave them um, traits that both me and my daughter had and aspirations that I had myself. There we go, 827. I sat down to watch a horror show. Leilana was in the living room. We have two living rooms. So I sat in one living room and I was watching a horror show and the baby was in the opposite living room playing with blocks. So I was like, okay, we could do that. I could just have her sitting next to me or whatever playing with toys. So I sat and watched this horror show for an hour and a half. And then I sat in silence for eight minutes. Okay, cool, that's that's whatever. Like I have moments of silence. So from that point forward, I took eight minutes to walk to the opposite living room and I stared at the baby for six minutes. After that six minutes, I walked um, to make sure she was okay. And she seemed to be okay, so I talked to her. But it took me 28 minutes to make sure she was okay. At 10.35, I did the first diaper change. Um, well, that would be a diaper change. I took her to practice potty time. Now, this is where things started to get interesting. From 10.35 to 12.13, the baby was on the potty. I potty tra trained the baby for two hours. In that duration of time, I talked to her one, two, three, four, five, six six times it was just a little woo <laughs> I talked to her six times after that time period the only reason she got up was because she had been using the toilet for so long that it overflowed so I'm like I can't mimic that and even if I could I would not that is literally <laughs> torture so at 12 13 I picked her up and at 12 20 she sat back down on the dirty poly uh, toilet dirty potty <laughs> she sat back down on the dirty toilet and I'm still standing there looking at her so from 12 20 to 1 35 again so for another hour she was sitting on this toilet during this time I spoke to her once I spoke to her twice once um was me just talking to her cheering her on and the other time I yelled at the wall at 1 37 at 1 35 she got up and at 1.37, I walked to the bathroom. I used the, I went to use the bathroom. I opened the door and then I turned around and walked right back to the baby standing in the kitchen and asked if she was okay. She was hungry, so I picked her up, put her in the high chair and gave her animal crackers. So at two o'clock was the first time that I fed my child. I, I had not eaten yet. So from 2.03 to 2.18, I watched the baby eat. 2.27, I walked to the bathroom and washed my hands. So from 2.27 to 2.47, 20 minutes, I was in the bathroom while my baby was in the high chair eating animal crackers. From 2.47 to 2.50, I danced in the mirror, which is cool. I love to dance, which is exactly why my sim had that moment. But then I walked up the stairs and came to my room 
and I played The Sims, which is typical of me. Like, I do love to play The Sims. I played The Sims from 3 o'clock to 3.48 with my child in the high chair eating animal crackers. <sighs> so at 3.55, I walked into the dining room and I took her out of the high, high chair. From 4.04 to 4.22, I stood and watched as the baby threw a tantrum. She was pissed off. She was tired. Mind you guys, I still had not eaten. Forget me, my baby hadn't eaten yet either. I gave her animal crackers. Like, what type of negligent BS <laughs> are the Sims on? Um, so then I finally got some sense to eat. And I walked outside to my backyard. And it was only then that I found a veggie dog on a plate in my garden, in the grass, just sitting there. And I decided that I was going to take that lone veggie dog. Don't know where it came from. Don't know why with the, the, ki the two fridges that was in the house and the kitchen that I was standing in that I did not go and grab a meal out of that kitchen. I went outside and ate a veggie dog out of the grass. So, 4.30. I, I, I am now eating the veggie dog, standing outside in the backyard. My baby came outside and we sat and talked. At 5.26, so an hour later, I walked back into the house. I spun in a circle in the doorway and got stuck. I left myself because I was letting my sim fin for herself. She did correct herself a couple minutes later. Um, at 5.47, I got done eating. So I think I was eating for like an hour and 15 minutes I was eating. I put the plate on the table, went and checked on the baby again. And I went to give her a hug. And she was pissed off because she was probably starving at this point and very tired. So she avoids the hug. And then I stood in place from 6.10 to 7.11 p.m. 7.11 <laughs> no, I stood in place from 6.10 to 7.11 p.m. At 7.13, I stood in front of the baby while she played with the blocks. Apparently, I was teaching her to play with blocks, but I did that for an hour. And then um, I finally decided to go wash my hot dog plate. I checked the baby again. And she was tired, so I walked her upstairs, put her in her crib, put her PJs on in about two seconds. It took me three minutes to put her PJs on, unrealistic. <laughs> and then I laid her down in her crib, kissed her cheek, and I watched her sleep for about 10 minutes, which I thought was so adorable. I would love that. Well, I do that anyway, but you know, I love that. So then I came and I sat, uh, her, her bed's in the same room as my bedroom. So I sat her in her bed and then I came and sat on my computer and I played, no, I chatted online <laughs> for 20 minutes, it looks like. Yeah, for 20 minutes, I chatted online. Then I got up, I changed in all of two minutes. I got in my bed. Sorry, I'm looking down at The Sims reenact as I talk. <laughs> I got in bed, I woke up and made the bed and went to the toilet at 6.27 a.m. At 6.48, I went to the mini fridge and I grabbed some peanut butter and jelly because I was probably starving at this point. My baby was starving at this point. And I um, ate my sandwich and played The Sims until 8.45 a.m., which concluded my 24-hour time period. So, needless to say, um, yeah, I'm not going to do it. I thought it would be really nice. The girl who made the challenge, I, I loved it. She's adorable. Um, I have to find who she is and I'll say her name in it because she definitely deserves credit. It was very unique and I would have loved to do it, but just don't fit my life. <laughs> so thank you for making up this challenge for me to attempt and fail at. And I don't know, maybe sometime in the future we'll revisit this when the Sims make us a little more sense. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. If you didn't, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> let me stop playing with y'all. Bye.